Every hour, images are coming in. This is one of uh, Russian attack helicopters only about 15 miles away from the Ukrainian border. So let's put it onto the uh, bigger map. If we think about numbers, the numbers always matter in these cases, and the numbers are not very good for Ukraine. The Ukrainians have got about 125,000 troops that they could call on, reasonably well-trained. The Russians have brought in at least 160,000 troops. The Americans even say they may have 190,000 troops. The Ukrainians have got about 580 main battle tanks that they can use. The Russians have got 1,300 battle tanks that they can use. The Ukrainians may be hoping that they can rely on their Bayraktar missiles, their Bayraktar drones. These drones are bought from, uh, uh, from Turkey, uh, and they're very good uh, anti-tank uh, drones. They worked extremely well for the Azerbaijan government in its battle with Armenia uh, a couple of years ago. But just going back to the big map again, we talk about what happens, happens on the ground. It's really dominated by what happens in the air and at sea. I mean, in the air, the Ukrainians essentially lost most of their air force in 2014. They've reconstructed about 120 combat aircraft. But the Russians have already put in theatre about double that number, 220 to 230 combat aircraft. And at sea, even more importantly, the Ukrainians essentially lost the whole of their fleet in 2014. They've got more or less one frigate and just a coastal force known as the Mosquito Navy. It's quite good, but it's very small. The Russians have brought 30 major battleships into the, the Black Sea. Those ships include seven missile-carrying ships. They include three kilo-class submarines. They've been trying to draw our attention to that in all the stuff that they've released in the last couple of hours. And it includes six landing assault ships. They, three of those came through the Bosphorus only a few days ago. We don't know what's on those ships, but normally they carry uh, tanks, armoured vehicles and troops. The fact is that by land, sea and air, President Putin has a vice around uh, Ukraine and he can snap it shut if and when he decides to. Back to you, Anna.